end of the year summary and what a year it was a 2020 did deliver for sure no matter what you're going to say but i want to start off of right off the bat with congratulating uh zastava usa for keeping the import a case steer floating and uh, going to united states and many people i also doubted that the zastava usa can pull this off and they did and they did deliver and uh i think it's great that we can still buy them uh and <laughs> in this setup it's kind of funny too because now the braces are under the fire too as you may guys know but i think what the zastava accomplished especially in this crazy 2020 year uh, it's remarkable so big thanks to the guys from Zastava USA uh, for pushing uh, those uh, rifles importing them to United States and uh, hopefully you will be able to keep doing it in 2021 uh, as well fingers crossed as uh, you know the one of the bullet points on the Biden's agenda is to ban all the imports time will tell also hey this is this is a, like really cool setup because you can see the oss suppressor and there are 26 millimeter muzzle devices for the that type of the ak pistols with 26 millimeters up front and that also happened in this 2020 so good job oss uh it's really cool that there is that support for the AK market growing and growing and growing. So Zastava USA also big thanks to the Arsenal. They pulled out some magic and brought some uh, AKs, uh, you know, uh, too. And we'll see. Hopefully this will continue. But switching gears, I think the one of the most important factors for the AKs in the USA in this 2020 was that we had plenty of new AK models popping out uh, as far as the volume sheer volume of the unit sold and the models released I think the Palmetto State Armory kicked as their 74 style release uh, that's a big milestone for the US market fully made uh, in US AK 74 so even if something well, is going to happen to imports and besides the arsenal didn't import the slr 104 uh, for a very long time but if something will happen to imports that assures us that at least there will be some alternative in a 545 by 39 uh, left so palmetto state armory did accomplish that uh their 74s were released uh, also their version of the 103 uh the gf4 version with the fn barrels and uh basically forged trunions so palmetto state armory was clicking on the all cylinders i think at that peak they were selling a thousand new ak's a week thousand new ak's a week if i'm correct uh, i think that's that's a great uh, accomplishment of course uh, finally kalashnikov usa released uh, their uh, version of uh, the kr 103 uh this rifle still goes through the hoops and uh the the stress and things like this with the five thousand rounds test but that was released so kawashkov uh, usa entered the full size land rifles uh, market in a great style and i'm also very impressed with them their actions and their plans uh, for the future so hopefully they will be able to keep developing the new products for 2021 and uh, we'll see even more from that company this is great news for the ak lovers uh, in us that those companies are stepping up and they are actually producing everything uh, in the united states so we are not dependable on the imports as much as i love imports you see what is happening with the stroke of the of the pen uh it turns out that the presidents can ban the imports for a different reasons right we'll see what's going to happen in 21 and that brings me to to the riley defense riley defense was putting their head 
into their version of the 103 uh, but also they did finally put out the 74 uh, and uh, I think as final production goes uh, it will be beginning of 21 but at least we iron out uh, some of the issues they had and I'm, I'm crossing my fingers for them because more of these we have guys it's better for us and really this is this is like the only hope we have i'm i'm really very pessimistic about the imports i hope i'm wrong i hope what the politicians are saying is not true uh, but i want to have a strong presence of the u.s manufacturers uh, on on our market which will supply the rifles at least to the We're beginners so at least again. the guys can start with something and then advance and keep moving forward getting new models and uh, different uh, different things but we need them to stay afloat produce and i don't want to see any assault weapons vents hopefully that won't happen now also i think the one of the best videos of uh, 2020 and the hardest one was uh, the Mosin uh, Snipers video. It was extreme pleasure to work on that video. I have tons of respect for those uh, rifles. Uh, I think that those uh, historic series, this is something what you will see more in 2021. Uh, we will see, <laughs> I'm getting a problem securing uh, another rifles for another episodes, but I promise you, you will see more uh, from the series uh, about the sniper rifles uh, in World War II, uh, especially on the uh, Eastern Front. So we'll come back to it, but it was pleasure to work on that video and absolutely fun. And uh, the most in rifles, I think we brought the light to a uh, little bit light to those uh, Mosin snipers and uh, to the people who are using them, fighting with them during the World War II. And uh, they, what they did with it is absolutely jaw dropping. What that so rifle accomplished see, is absolutely jaw dropping. So I hope you enjoyed that episode uh, as well. Uh, it took a lot of work, but it was absolutely, absolutely worth it. Now, thinking about all of this, as crazy as that 2020 was, I think that for the AK user, this really was a good year. A lot of new exciting products. Uh, I touched most of them here. I don't want to dwell for four hours in that video, but I think it wasn't bad. Uh, I wish that whatever was happening uh, in, the, in the country of the whole pandemic and everything, uh, I wish people wouldn't be uh, as much affected by it as in some states they are. Uh, it's heartbreaking to watch it and see what's happening. I hope you guys are staying okay. I hope you guys are doing fine. Uh, but uh, it, it is, it, it was a crazy year. There is no other way uh, to say it. I'm extremely grateful for you being with us, watching those videos. I, I think it's absolutely badass and uh, I'll keep doing those videos as long as we can uh, and as long as uh, there will be a chance to do it. Uh, as you see now, the ammo situation is absolutely critical. The price is spiked and everything and there's nothing what I can do, but uh, if we can keep pushing uh, those rifles forward and give you the feedback on what those rifles can and cannot do, uh, I'll keep doing it as long as, as it is possible. If not, then we'll turn off the lights, walk away. All right, guys, thank you very much. Wonderful, wonderful year behind us. And guess what? 21 will be a million times better. I wish you happy new year. Thanks for watching. Bye.